So, so steak, loads of different types of steak. So I've got a couple of steaks here. I'm going to talk to you through, first of all, the king of steak. And this is the king of steak. And I'm, going to, I'm going to cook it for you. Because I want to just tell you, because this explains the world of steak very, very well. The T-bone around the outside, best steak in the world, the T for Tarot, of course, got to be the best steak oh. in the world. One side is the fillet, your favourite. I like it, because you know what you're getting. And it's also tender and there's no, there's very little fat on it, and you know what you're going to get. The other side is the sirloin, a bit more chewy, a bit more flavour. Sometimes on it. disappointingly chewy. Well, here's the point. See, there's, there's friends and enemies to a piece of steak. And the thing about it, if you buy a piece of steak, you want to see the little rivers of fat running through the mm. meat. That adds flavour, it melts as it cooks and keeps it moist. You need a piece of fat across the top, that adds the flavour to it. Mm -hmm. But between that piece of flesh and the, the fat is an enemy. And it's a piece of sinew. Oh. That's what shrinks. Steak doesn't shrink, meat doesn't shrink, fat renders, only sinew shrinks, and that pulls it in really tight. So have you got so to cut it out? You No. What you do is you make little slits in it. Tiny oh. little slits in it first as you cook it. And people go, oh, no, really? You're going to ruin my steak? This will save your steak forever. Really? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the next rule is... Oil the steak, never ever the pan, and get your pan as hot as you possibly can. Oh, Open right. all your windows in your house, because you're going to smoke it out. You know, get a tea towel ready if your smoke alarm goes off or whatever. Then, then season. So put salt on now? After your oil. If you put salt on first, the salt draws the moisture out of ah, the steak. because that's what I thought, but if you put oil on, it doesn't do that. Can't do that. Both sides? We're going to start with the side first, and then we pick it up straight into the hot pan, and I mean hot. Great Sizzle. things in the world make a noise. Yeah. When you cook, make a noise. Yeah. Whether it be your radio on really loud, but whatever you do, make a noise. A little bit of fat oil across the top. Yeah. Salt. Yeah. Pepper again. Season it quite well. Can I just ask then, so if you weren't going to buy the full tea, yep. uh, if you've just bought a sirloin steak, then, that, which, are, which you know, sort of most people would actually yes. buy the sirloin, then those cuts, it doesn't have to be on the tea to do the cuts. No, so I've done it here because I knew you'd ask that question. Uh -huh. Pair of scissors. Take your sirloin steak, put your pair of scissors in between the, the fat and the sinew and just snip it. Oh, right. And that way it will always just do exactly the same. So that's away that's done i cannot wait to try that now that means that that will stay the same size when it comes out of the pan as it went in the pan it won't right. shrink and it'll stay lovely fillet steak your favorite comes from inside rather than outside a ribeye really tender takes a bit more cooking and a rump a rump is not your bottom by the way it's your love handles oh ah, is that it's right it's this bit here it does no work so therefore it actually is quite tender but oh. very tasty <laughs> okay so, so how long do you cook it for then this... i'm a rare kind of girl well you are a rare kind of girl not holly <laughs> Um, I'd say unique. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very good. So um, you've, you've got a colour on the outside. About three minutes for that piece of steak and then rest it as long as you possibly can. And what would that come out as? That'll come out medium. Medium, right. I've got you some rare steak here. Fill it a beef, you like. Pepper steak. Here's the trick. Over there is that bowl. See that bowl over there? Yeah. Yes. So if you pass it over, Phil. This here is how you make a pepper steak. Grind your peppercorns up. Then you, you sieve off, sieve off, all this bit, you get the kibble. Yeah. That's the bit that you put on your steak, not that other bit. The Why? other bit's too hot. That'll burn oh, your wow. throat. This here means you've got the flavour of pepper but no heat. Oh my god, you're a genius. Didn't you know that. That's right. Did you just like keep this all a big secret all your life, and no, then no, one no, day, no. girl, I'm going to tell just everyone. My now. Job. Just my job. That's what I do. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pepper steak. Yeah. It's been cooking in here, and we're going to turn it into a pepper steak with its sauce. Pan, away we go. Right, I'm watching you so carefully now. Add some butter. Yeah. Just a little bit. Well, you know, treat day. Add your whiskey or brandy. What that does is it takes all the juices off the bottom of the pan, make sure it sizzles, there's the noise. Could it be wine or does it have to be a strong It could one? be wine, but the problem with wine, it becomes very, very thin and you don't get the flavour. Brandy or whiskey works anyway, really, really it's well. It's International Scotch Day, it's got to be whiskey. Of course. A little tiny bit of cream. That's fine. And then that there, stir that around, and you've got yourself your little sauce. I'm literally salivating. I'm doing a big thing. <laughs> so that's that. Now, let's mm. take this. I've got a, a, a T-bone here, because mm -hmm. I cooked it in the... You know when we came to that link before? Mm -hmm. I put it in the pan and I cooked it. Mm. So to carve it, this, this steak will feed three people. Oh, will it? Take your fillet off first. It won't. <laughs> Thank you. This here, there, is that. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody's telling me on my ear what I've got left. I said thank you. I did not very often when someone says you've got two and a half minutes and you actually said thank you. Now, How polite. Look, there you go. Yeah. Medium. Yeah. Just a couple of minutes each side. Now, these little bits, you just cut them up. Don't do that. There you go. 
Have your chips. Look at the chips I cooked for you. Oh. There's chips, there's steak. And onion rings. There's onion rings and all sorts of things. I like that an there. onion ring. That onion rings are good. Oh, are you steak joking? Are good. My fillet, can you pass me a plate, please? Yeah. Here you go. Oh. Here's your fillet, look. Oh my gosh, those onion rings are insane. Fillet, yeah. put your sauce across the top. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now, you wanted a rare steak, didn't you, Holly? Mm-hmm. OK, so let's get a nice clean knife. Wow. Clean, clean, and then you want as tender as you like, as rare as you like. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Go. Dip your chips in the sauce, because that's the best bit. 